And we turn now to President Obama and the crisis in Ukraine, stepping up the war of words overnight, calling out Vladimir Putin, who seems undeterred by the prospect of new sanctions hitting as soon as tomorrow. ABC's chief White House correspondent John Carl is on the road with the president. Even as he travels in Asia this week, President Obama has had to deal with the escalating conflict in Russia at every turn. With respect to Russia and Ukraine. Uniformly condemning Russia's actions. It's the country he once banked on building closer ties to. Remember this open mic moment with then Russian President Medvedev? But now President Obama finds relations with Vladimir Putin at a new low as he prepares to slap a new round of sanctions likely to come early next week. Did you misjudge him or did he mislead you? And at this point, isn't it clear that sanctions simply are not going to change his behavior? President Putin's not a stupid man. And I think recently acknowledged that this has already had an impact. But, but you acknowledge sanctions may simply not change his behavior. Jonathan, I think, that, I, I think that's self-apparent. I think that um, there are no guarantees in life, generally and certainly no guarantees in foreign policy. The only sure thing in Ukraine has been more conflict. Just this weekend, pro-Russian forces in the east went so far as to detain eight international observers. ABC News' Mohamed Lila saw firsthand how heavily armed Russian separatists are fortifying their positions. All afternoon, we've been seeing pro-Russian volunteers come put down more tires to reinforce these barricades. But they weren't happy to see the cameras. It's becoming very clear that they don't want people to see what's going on. The new sanctions will target Putin's billionaire cronies, but President Obama is holding off on broader sanctions that would target whole sectors of the Russian economy. He explained today that those only make sense if Europe goes along, and so far, George, that's been a tough sell. 